Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. It's Napalm Records Monday, so we're going to react to a song from Battle Lore. This one's called Elven King. This is my reaction. Let's go back to Tolkien's Middle Earth, shall we? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Ah, battle lore. Okay, I, I just want to clarify a few things, okay? Um, battle lore and Winrose, two epic fantasy-based bands in the Napalm uh, arsenal. I love using that word, arsenal, of epic metal bands. Both of them epic at telling stories. Um, Winrose does do a little bit of that Middle Earth Tolkien style Dwarven lore, but they throw a little Warhammer in there. Um, it's it's an amalgamation of everything that's great about mountain dwarves of fantasy uh, lore. Um, this one is battle lore. Um, they take this uh, storytelling stuff seriously as well. Um, and uh, this one's called Elven King. Uh, it's specifically written, and the video is designed to take us right back into Tolkien's Middle Earth. Uh, the synopsis in the description is, it's the story of a hobbit who meets the Elven King, and, and stuff goes down. <laughs> all right, check us out at oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all the social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. Check us out on Twitch TV slash oldschoolnerd. We're streaming almost every night, playing video games and D&D &D with all of you. All right, this one's five and a half minutes long, so I won't be stopping it too much because that just infuriates people. It's true. All right, let's get into this. Boom, baby. Cheers. I'm a hobbit, and I'm a walking down the street. I'm a hobbit, smiling at everybody meet. Sorry. His eyes are dreamy. Jump in the ditch, bro. Jump in the ditch. Go. That's usually what they do. This will be one of the few times I stop this because there's so much going on. I feel like I need to comment on it at least a little. Uh, let's do the one that um, is is for fun because that's kind of what I do. Um, so what you're telling me is that this hobbit, this young man, could be older. I don't know because they're all hobbits, right? Smoke some weed on the side of the uh, of the road, then finds a culvert on the side of the road. There's an old dude sleeping and living in the culvert on the side of the road. And he and he and this this old dude wakes up and he's like, touch my dagger. Yeah, because I don't think it's a dagger, but he's like, touch it, touch it. And he's like, all right. And he touches it and everything glows. Yeah, that's, that's weird. But in all seriousness, this music is very melodic. Great use of woodwinds and flutes. It really does give that elven feel. The thing about it is battle lore can go heavy. They can go heavy and, and just 
they can bring the metal if they need to. But in this case, they're this this bringing it into Tolkien's world because it's specifically themed for Middle Earth, beginning this story of the Elven King. Um, they're taking it very seriously, and it's melodic and it's purposeful. And some people are going to be like, "Eh, I come to Napalm because stuff goes," blah, 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 blah. and that's fine. You can have that. You can have that all day long. There's plenty of bands in Napalm's rep repertoire that will literally melt your face. This is more about the storytelling, and they do it better than anybody. Now, this is very serious, and I did make the joke about, you know, the, the weed and then finding an old dude, a homeless old dude in a culvert and touch my, sit, touch my sword, right? Um, that was, that's the only joke I'm going to tell you, and this is why. Um, this isn't an ale storm reaction, okay? Ale storm, they're going to make you laugh, and if you don't believe me, come back later. I'll show you what I mean. But Battlelore is really into telling a real story. It's similar to Winrose. Yeah, Winrose is kind of in the middle. Win Winrose can do the epic Middle Earth Warhammer slash Warcraft slash Dwarven mythological power metal. You know, you just like, dude, I want to grow a beard and I want to be a blacksmith. I mean, that's what they make you want to do. But at the same time, they can do a dance remix and you're going, what the hell is going on and why is there a goblin as a DJ? Okay, so you have Battle Lore, which is taking it very serious. You have Winrose, who can take it seriously either way and sometimes silly. And then you have Ailstorm, who hasn't taken anything seriously since 1993. Don't worry, all my pirate friends. Napalm Records is such a big label. They also have a pirate band that you actually can take serious. If Battle Lore takes their fa fantasy storytelling seriously and wants you to embrace the art, then Visions of Atlantis makes up for all the chaotic silliness of Ailstorm and makes you really believe that there's a pirate ship waiting for you down at the river, get on board, and really go on an adventure. It's that serious. And they, it's, you can feel it. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone. Kind of like that. That's the only time I'm going to stop it. We're going to let this thing play out, right? Because there's still four minutes left and we're seven and a half minutes into this reaction because I've rambled on. Sorry.
Do you even know how many jokes I could have told by now? And I didn't. I see four lights. Great. Jean-Luc Picard shout out there. Um, also, um, is, is the old man, like, is the old elven king, is he seeing a vision of the future? Or is he reliving the past? Or does he believe that the past will come back and recall itself to the future? Right? The, if you're paying attention, you see the seriousness of it. But because I'm an, I'm an idiot, and I have way too much useless knowledge in my head about sci-fi stuff, I see three lights swirling and immediately go to Star Trek. I'm just saying. They almost won an Emmy for that one. Seriously, did you know that? Yeah, Patrick Stewart was nominated for an Emmy Award for his portrayal in those two episodes with the three lights and the four lights and the Cardassian torturing him with him. Yeah, didn't know that, did you? Huh. Give him his crown, dude. Seriously. There you go. Nice look at the camera. That was pretty slick. Um, so that's battle lore, doing their doing the thing that they do, which is telling stories. Now, here's the thing that I did. Okay, now when when he when he went, and he took the dagger and he got the crown. You knew he was going to give it to the old man. You could feel that coming. When he was putting it on him, I'm thinking, okay, there's three possibilities here. Either A, he's going to put it on there, and he's going to disappear, which is what actually happened. Then the other one was he puts it on him and he becomes like, like he suddenly becomes where he looks like a thousand years younger, right? And all of a sudden he becomes like, like it returns his power and it re reinvigorates him in his person. Because, you know, elves are kind of eternal like that. And then the third one was, you know, he puts it on him and all of a sudden, you know, something bad happens, you know, like uh, the, the visions... You know, as soon as he touches the old man, like he starts to see the visions of the upcoming doom, you know, and then all of a sudden he's on this quest to stop it, you know. But with only five minutes, 35 seconds of video, you couldn't exactly tell that kind of story. Anyway, speaking of rambling on, hi. Hi, everybody. My name is Old School Nerd. And I'm here to. No, I've already said that. This was Napalm Records. This was Battle Lore, Elven King. Again, when you show up to Battle Lore, no. Yeah, I mean, this time it's, you know what? You can sit down, get your tea, get your coffee. You can listen to a Battle Lore album and get, get enough of the metal to make you happy. But you're like, you know what? This is, this, is, this is like watching. It's like listening to a Lord of the Rings movie. And it's a way better love story than Twilight. I mean, you can see the love in that Hobbit and Hobbit's eyes for that Elven King, right? Of course, a Swift kick in the face with a golf shoe is a better love story than Twilight. <laughs> so, you're not really losing anything. Hey, everybody. Love you guys. We'll see you later. Hey.